it is, what day is it? Wow, I can't remember. It's Wednesday, it's 17th, 2008, and uh, this is my second video here on um, YouTube. Uh, once again, uh, M Scars is my other one. It's all like uh, vacation videos and all that stuff. That's what is on there. Um, I was looking through, looking at some more videos and stuff. Uh, my man Cop Pizzles over there. He's awesome. Loves videos. Agree with everything he's saying over there. But um, uh, as you know, I just came on here. Just started this week with the uh, videos and stuff. And uh, I caught. Uh, I found a Dallas fan. I made a couple videos. I uh, got a kick out of him. Big Daddy Caesar. Uh, he had a video that I saw caught my attention called uh, New York Giant Bandwagon Fans. And uh, he reminded me a lot of some people uh, that I'm, uh, a lot of cowboy fans I've been talking to recently. And he made me laugh, just like all of them. He uh, actually thinks he could talk. And it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, uh, Big Daddy Caesar, your team went 13-3 and last year. What did they do in the playoffs? Nothing. So that means absolutely nothing. And I'm sorry that this video is so late. I saw that you posted it about two days after the Super Bowl. Um, I just noticed that now I had to say something because I thought it was very funny. Um, Tony Romo, when he has a playoff win and he finds another way uh, to choke, when he stops choking, then he could come talk to me about how he's a better quarterback than Eli Manning. Because as far as I'm concerned, Eli has done something when it mattered. Tony Romo has a good season and then screws it up in the playoffs. And uh, I guess you're right, I guess I'm a bandwagon Giants fan because I didn't buy a video camera. If you go check on my comments, check every comment in any Giants video I've ever had, I've been commenting that whole entire season just because I didn't have a video camera and made videos every day like you did. Not even every day. I really think it's how can you be a bandwagon New York Giant fan? I agree with you. There are a bunch of them out there. I'm not saying that there's not. But if you're in the tri-state area and you're a Giants fan, and just because you don't have a video camera, it's not mean that we're bandwagon fans. Now, I'm going to give you this. If you're from like, the Seattle, Washington, or from California, and you have no connections to New York at all. And then this year I said, hey, Giants are awesome. Of course you're a bandwagon fan. But if you have connections, if you have like family connections or something like that, you can't just assume that the person's a bandwagon fan because they didn't buy a video camera during the season and go at it back and forth with you. So I think that's pretty funny how you think we're bandwagon fans right after the Super Bowl. Yep, we didn't deserve to win that at all. You're right. Tony Romo just blows it again and again. And I'm telling you, I can't wait till when the Cowboys make the playoffs again. They will make the playoffs. I'm telling you that right now. Just can't wait to see how Romo blows it again. It's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, I'm not saying that the Giants are a better team than the Cowboys because... I, I, I don't think one's better than the other. You beat us in the regular season, we beat you in the playoffs. And you didn't, don't give me this, you lost to us. It's like, ridiculous. And that's, like to all the Cowboy fans who think that the Giants are bandwagon fans, I think it's the funniest thing. Funniest thing, My, And you want to know where I was during the season when I wasn't there? I was at the game. My family's had Giants season tickets since the 1930s when the Giants played at Yankee Stadium. I was at Giants Stadium watching OCU Manure break the sack record against Donovan McNabb and the Eagles. I was there. I was in Arizona for the Super Bowl. I was there. I have videos and pictures. So, don't call me a bandwagon fan because I didn't put a video on there. Or don't call any of these guys bandwagon fans. Now that was 1966, or whatever his username is. That's True Giants fan right there. All those guys in the Giants Mafia, they're True Giants fans. And the guy from Tennessee, Capizzle, he's a True Giants fan right there. Doesn't matter if you didn't put a video up during the season. He's not a football fan, he's not a Giants fan because he didn't post videos. Because I'll tell you, if the Giants do bad this season, you'll still see me here. I'll be telling it like it is. 
So at all the Cowboy fans and all the people who think the Giants are bandwagon fans and think we don't know what it takes and think... Because I've noticed with a lot of Dallas fans that the only thing about football that they know is that the Dallas Cowboys are the best team and Tony Romo is the best quarterback to ever play the game. That seems to be the story with all the Dallas fans. So uh, uh, I'm not here to I'm not here to make trouble. So I don't want a bunch of Dallas fans coming after me for this, saying that I'm an idiot and I have no clue what the heck I'm talking about. Because that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't, don't like the fact that you're calling Giants fans bandwagon fans. Because all these people on here, they know what they're talking about. These aren't bandwagon fans because they didn't buy video cameras. So I'll have another video coming out later this week, uh, a preview of Giants Bengals, and I'll uh, be heading over to the Meadowlands this weekend again for that game. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one. Uh, Toby Keith is coming on the radio right now. I think it's Toby Keith. Uh, no, maybe it's Trace Adkins. I don't know. But I'll be there and uh, cheer on my Giants against the Bengals. Got a preview coming up, so it's gonna be a big one. So uh, to Dallas fans. Uh, Let's have a good season now, sure. shall we? Alright, peace out.